Optimizing operations is among strategies that Kenya Airways is seeking to implement to fly the airline from loss making. Kenya Airways chairman Michael Joseph told shareholders that the airline is reviewing routes it operates with the view of halting operations on loss making ones and only retaining profitable ones. I cannot promise you that if you come back here next year and we are the same size with the same route structure that we will be giving you another financial picture. We need to grow. We need to grow the number of airline, aircraft we have, and we need to grow the number of places where we fly. The annual general meeting heard that the airline shelved the proposal to manage the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport due to the strong opposition and is considering nationalization of the carrier subject to shareholder and regulatory approval. Turn around this business, and that's why we started to work towards having a partnership with KAA. You saw what happened, uh, the, it became very political, um, we had to change tack, and we are changing tack. However, the shareholders were not for the idea, fearing they might lose their investments. I came to say that I am very disappointed. I think in Africa, Kenya Airways is one of the best airlines. I have used it several times. But we have found ourselves in a hole where only by the miracles of God we will come out. Shareholders also faulted the management for huge remuneration despite the losses the airline has been making in recent years that has seen dividends not paid. The board of directors are taking their full remuneration, but it's what is happening to their shareholder, the normal shareholder. He's not receiving dividends. A long time, but dividends themselves have not been paid, no, not even bonuses, and there's a lot of frustration. During the AGM, shareholders re-elected Michael Joseph as the board chair as well as John Kumi as a board member.